Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we're back out here on Call of the Wild again. It's been a little while, but I told you we'd be right back out here. We actually have a decent whitetail buck here, about 50 yards away, but can we squeeze one off here? I don't know. We did. That was a close one. Now, we're out here trying to find, for those of you that don't know, a lot of you probably do, but I've never gotten a dime potential true rack bull elk. I took a shot at one one time and it ended up being a liver intestine shot. And this is him right here. And I held for the front shoulder, but I should have held for the front of the front shoulder. So we hit a little too far back. But as you can see right here, we only got a 73% on the quick kill. That was a liver stomach at 21 yards. And that cost us our first ever true rack diamond bull elk. But I've never gotten one, ever. So that's kind of what we're trying to do today. I would really like to find a diamond Churak bull elk. That's a really nice white tail though, 879, got a spinal cord and right lung. So to do this, we're gonna be doing some multiplayer and we have out here another white tail buck, but we also have a hunter coming this direction really fast. In fact, it's oof, O-O-F. He's coming out at about 400 yards away. Well, it says meters, but I use yards. Anyways, I'm trying to call in a couple of these bucks here because I only see one now, but I'm pretty sure there's a whole herd of whitetails here. But all I know is if he keeps coming this way, this buck is going to come hauling and we're basically going to have ourselves a nice little deer push here. So if that works, that'd be kind of cool. You know, we have the 30 6 so if he comes out running, we'll be ready for him. But it looks like Oof is getting pretty close now, so we should probably get ready because something's about to bust out of here any second now. He's about 190, yeah, and once he gets within 150, something's probably going to come flying out of this woods line. Got one cutting across here right there. Decent sized whitetail. And dropped him. Nice. That was pretty sweet. That was kind of like the first ever successful deer push that I've seen in Call of the Wild. Although I wasn't really trying to do it, it just kind of worked out. And a really solid white tail as well, so <laughs> why not take him down? Great looking buck. Yeah, 869, got a left lung liver stomach at 20 yards out. The 30 odd 6 would work incredible doing these little deer pushes if someone ever wanted to give it a try. I guess it could potentially work. But speaking of oof, here he is right here. Well, we just came across a whole herd of Roosevelt elk out here, but I don't see any bulls. There's a ton of cows, and if you see cows, that means money. And 30 odd 6 can do just fine on taking down some cows, so I think we're going to see if we can't take some of them down. But... For those of you that don't know, that Truac Diamond Potential Bull Elk that we messed up with the bow and made an intestine liver shot, that's probably one of my most regretful moments of a diamond ever. So if we could ideally make up for that moment, it would be amazing. But here's the thing, I didn't mess that up because it was my fault. I mean, yeah, I kind of did mess it up. But during that time, I was actually getting pretty constant well it wasn't pretty it was constant headaches every single day and when i saw that bull elk it was i think yeah like 1 32 o'clock in the morning and at that time i ended up going to the uh the eye doctors because i thought maybe it was something to do with my eyes that it was causing me headaches so anyways i had glasses on and i was trying to record a video while looking through my glasses, which I've never wore glasses in my life. And I don't know, I'm not saying that it's the glasses fault, but it definitely was probably the glasses fault. And plus it was two o'clock in the morning. And so yeah, that's why I messed up. One of the coolest diamonds that I probably would have had. Well, that is until we got the uh, diamond red deer. So yeah, but here's the thing about that one also. I noticed that that was really, really late at night. Like my time late at night, one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning. I would say 75% of my biggest diamonds that I've ever gotten were after one o'clock in the morning, my time. It doesn't matter. All that matters is it's late, really late. So everybody's already done working, sleeping. And I'm like, you know, I just want to try and see if I can't find something. It'd be kind of cool to find something decent. But it seems like every single time I hunt after one o'clock in the morning, I find my biggest diamonds. Well, it's not a giant, but it'll work. And the 30 odd six has decent penetration. So we held for the front shoulder. I would imagine we should have gotten lung and liver, if not liver intestine, depending on how far back we actually did hit. And yeah, left lung liver and 97 yards out. Cool looking rack on him as well. 
But at this moment here, this is when I realized uh, something's starting to get messed up. And once you start to notice something like this on multiplayer, you need to get out of there ASAP because that is not even close to what we hit. Left lung liver and here it's showing only a shoulder blade hit. So now we're gonna exit out of multiplayer and head in to single player. So we're over by Runichi now, and if you don't know where that is, it's pretty much on the southwest end of the map on Layton Lakes. And that's a good buck. That's a real good buck right there. Should be 900 plus, about 280 yards out. But what we're gonna use today is the Mosin Nagan. I haven't used this in so long. But something tells me we need to start using it more often because we just smoked that blacktail at about 300 yards out. 259 yards. Looks like we drilled them right in the spinal cord a little bit high, but 921, that is a great blacktail buck. Uh, that's the biggest one we've gotten in a while, so I think we'll save him. I think we'll switch him out for, I don't know, say like a, a 900 scoring mule deer because, yeah, these look a lot better than the big mule deer. And just so we can see how accurate this Mosin actually is, let's try a little bit further. We're looking at about 360 here on this black tail. It's just a three, but 360 yards with the Mosin Nagant. Let's try it. <laughs> 355 yards out, and that was pretty much going for the heart. So I would say, that's an awesome shot placement at 355 yards. Well, that's kind of interesting. That is a diamond potential black tail less than 150 yards away. But what the most interesting part is, it's white tail drink zone time right now. So what the heck is this diamond black tail doing here? But he's got a pretty good spread on him and that looks to be like a pretty solid diamond potential black tail buck right there. He's about 180 out. So I think we're gonna try and call him a little bit. See if we can't get him to turn broadside because right now he's facing right directly at us. Well, it looks like a couple of them are coming in but he's showing little to no interest in coming in whatsoever. Oh, here he comes, here he comes, hold on. This just might work out. And that is a smoked black tail buck. Nice. Man, this Mosin is pretty incredible. I forgot how good it is. Man, I can't remember the last time I actually used this Mosin. But this spot right here I have set up is for Whitetail. I came over here to try and find Whitetail. It's, I think it's like 1300 in the afternoon right now. So there should only be Whitetail here. And when I saw this Diamond Potential Blacktail, I thought, why is he here? And it's two o'clock in the morning, 2 a.m. right now. So that means this could be another one of my biggest diamonds at two o'clock in the morning. I could come here all day long during the daytime and I won't see anything even close to a diamond. In fact, I've been hunting a lot during the day lately and I haven't even seen a diamond in probably like six or seven days, which is why I was playing Hunting Unlimited. But anyways, that's besides the point. Um, but yeah, this could be a diamond right here. Very well could be a decent sized diamond and he's gonna be a diamond and a decent indeed. That's a huge diamond, 983 diamond Truac Blacktail Buck. Got a double lung at 172 yards out. Perfect shot placement with a trophy rating of 196. He actually ended up weighing 205 pounds. So that's a great weight for a black tail. And he does have a really cool looking messed up rack on him, which is ideally, whoa. Now you can tell it's getting late because I almost saved this one. Now, why would you want to save a guaranteed mounter uh, diamond true rank black tail buck. Well, that's because it's two o'clock in the morning right now. And it's hard to concentrate when it gets this late at night. But here's the thing though. My 1000 diamond black, uh, yeah, I think my 1000 diamond black tail, um, my 1000 diamond mule deer, my 996 true rank diamond white tail, um, my 993 diamond coyote, my, the biggest Diamond Cape Buffalo I've ever gotten. My 996 Diamond Cape Buffalo all came after one o'clock in the morning, like two o'clock in the morning my time where I should basically be sleeping. But I just know if you put a little bit more time into it, it could pay off. And apparently it does because it just paid off again 
I believe this is like my 10th biggest diamond after one o'clock in the morning now since, well, since I started playing late at night. So I don't know. It could very well mean something. All I know is if I ever need to get a diamond again, I'm going to stay up late again and try and get another diamond. But that was, that's a pretty good size black tail. In fact, this giant true rack diamond white tail right here is the one that we got at 1.30 in the morning my time. He came right underneath us. And of course, we made a perfect shot on him. But that buck right there, first off, it was not only late in real life, it was also late in game. And of course, can you imagine getting a giant true rack diamond potential white tail buck like that? And then before you pick it up, you have to go get a consecutive harvest at two o'clock in the morning. Oh, that was a lot of stress and that is not easy, but we did it. And that's what we had to do back in the day. But yeah, 992 giant true rack diamond white tail out of a tree stand at 10 yards away. This was kind of like my dream come true. I really wanted to get a giant diamond white tail out of a tree stand. And that right there was just the epitome of what I wanted to have happen. But it was two o'clock in the morning and it was late in the game. So that's another one of my biggest diamonds. Even this guy here, this one came in at, I think it was like 1.30 in the morning as well. I was super tired. It was late at night and you can even see in my, uh, well, the background there that there's basically hardly any light, but that's the biggest diamond mule deer I've ever seen. And that was super late at night as well. And I mean, they don't get any bigger than that. that that's, that's as big as they get right there. Yeah, that's as big as they get. Like I said before, they don't get any bigger than that. And you can see it in my facial expressions. I was just tickled. He's a diamond! No way! No way! A true 1,000 scoring diamond mule deer and we took him 17 yards out of a tree stand but remember when i said the small og diamond white tail looked good that's a 1000 man that looks incredible and here's our 1000 og diamond mule deer but that was a pass and this is a present this is our huge diamond true rack black tail buck 983 true rack diamond black tail buck he looks awesome right here and we also have this guy here this is our biggest one that's not the right one how do we there we go 995 we made a walking perfect heart shot on him that was a really risky tough shot but it was pretty awesome as well and yeah i think that's gonna be a good way to finish up this video here now a lot of people have been asking me lately how to find diamonds and they're really not having that much success at finding diamonds well i'm not saying that this is guaranteed gonna work but i'm saying if you have at least one night during the week that you can stay up later try it because it just might work but that's gonna be it for this video so i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time all right so let's show you where it's got that huge true rack diamond black tail buck we're over here by belmont lake and if you don't know where that is it's pretty much right in the middle of the map but we have a tent set up right here and right here is a drink zone from 5 30 until 9 30 is when i would expect the black tail to come but there was a need zone right here from 13 until 1700 so right here is where we just got that diamond true rack black tail it was 1400 in the afternoon